The Homecoming Gruffly growled the wind on taller downland, broad and bare, and lonesome was the house, and dark, and few came there. Now don't you rub your eyes so red, we're home and have no cares. Here's a skimmer cake for supper, peckled onions and some pears. I've got a little keg of somewhat strong too under stairs. What, slight your husband's vittles? Other brides can tackle theirs. The wind of winter mooed and mouthed their chimney like a horn, and round the house and past the house twas leafless and lorn. But, my dear and tender poppet, then, how came ye to agree in Ivel Church this morning? Sure they're right you married me. Who? I don't know. I forgot how strange and far twould be, and I wish I was at home again with dear daddy. Gruffly growled the wind on taller downland, broad and bare, and lonesome was the house, and dark, and few came there. I didn't think such furniture as this was all you'd own, and great black beams for ceiling, and a floor of wretched stone, and nasty pewter platters, horrid forks of steel and bone, and a monstrous crock and chimney. Twas to me quite unbeknown. Rattle, rattle went the door. Down flapped a cloud of smoke, as shifting north the wicked wind essayed a smarter stroke. Now sit ye by the fire, Poppet, put yourself at ease, and keep your little thumb out of your mouth, dear please, and I'll sing to ye a pretty song of lovely flowers and bees, and happy lovers taking walks within a grove of trees. Gruffly growled the wind on taller down, so bleak and bare, and lonesome was the house, and dark, and few came there. Now don't ye gnaw your handkerchief, twill hurt your little tongue, and if ye do feel spitish, tis because you're over young. But you'll be getting older like us all ere very long, and you'll see me as I am, a man who never did ye wrong. Straight from Whitsheet Hill to Benville Lane the blusters pass, hitting hedges, milestones, handposts, trees, and tufts of grass. Well, had I only known, my dear, that this was how you'd be, I'd have married her of riper years that was so fond of me. But since I can't, I've half a mind to run away to sea, and leave ye to go barefoot to your damn daddy. Up one wall, and down the other, past each window pane, pranced the gusts, and then away down Crimmer Crock's long lane. I, I don't know what to say to it since your wife I vowed to be, and as tis done I suppose here I must bide. Poor me! I, as you are kind, I'll try to live along with thee, although I'd fain have stayed at home with dear daddy. Gruffly growled the wind on taller down, so bleak and bare, and lonesome was the house, and dark, and few came there. That's right, my heart, and though unhaunted taller down we be, and the wind swears things in chimney, we'll to supper merrily. So don't you tap your shoe so pettish-like, but smile at me, and you'll soon forget to sock and sigh for dear daddy.